Hey everyone, it's Liz from Blue and Hazel, and if you're new here, we do homeschool videos and handicraft videos sprinkled in there too. And I'd love to have you subscribe if you're new, just hit the subscribe button and be sure to like this video at the end if you find it helpful. That really helps my channel out. Um, today, I wanna share one of my favorite math resources that we have used um, called Addition Facts That Stick. This is just a golden piece. I, I love and I recommend it to everybody on my blog and on my other math YouTube videos. And um, it is just going to take you from not really knowing your math facts, um, you and your kids, because you'll be doing this with them. So while well, they learned it, so did I. <laughs> It's just going to give you that really quick recall of those addition facts that maybe you'd be tempted to add on your hands. You know, what's seven plus six? What's eight plus four? What's nine plus five? Like by the end of this six week program, you will and your kids will be able to really, really just know those numbers. And even better, if they don't have that memorized up here by the end, she um, teaches you how to figure it out. So this is not a program that's full of um, like flashcards or anything. You're not gonna do flashcards. That first day you'll do some explaining and really it's scripted. So you just read the book. You do not have to know a thing about teaching math, which was really helpful for me. And um, you just read that script that first day, you play the game, and then the rest of the four days of the week, you play that same game and do a one page worksheet. I would not recommend doing this at the same time as any other math curriculum. I think it would just be a little bit like too much math for one day. So what we did is we took a six week break and I think that was kind of like right around Christmas time or right after Christmas time when my son was in first grade, my oldest. We had actually just switched him over from master books level two and we had tried Singapore um, level one A and it was so hard for me to figure out how to teach him and um, their way of adding and I couldn't figure it out and he didn't have his math, math facts down um, from the master books kind of way of teaching and um, they have a really interesting way that they teach math facts and um, it just, I don't think it was clicking with my son. And so, um, yeah, so I just wasn't sure how am I gonna get him to memorize things because he was adding on his fingers still at the end of first grade and like um, he just, any problems, if there were, you know, eight problems on a page, it was taking a long time to finish because he had to figure out how much was, you know, nine plus four and it was just not clicking. And so um, this totally turned things around for us. It, it went, um, it changed so that um, both my kiddos who did this went from really having no um, understanding of like why something is what it is or how to figure it out if you don't know it other than counting on your fingers um, to being able to figure it out if not having it already me memorized in their head. I would not recommend starting any earlier than first grade. Kindergarten is too early, I think, um, unless you have a super incredibly gifted kid. Um, we're using Kate Snow's Math with Confidence curriculum for my kindergartner, and there's just no way that he would be ready for this. Um, it would be really frustrating to him. I'd say the sweet spot would be first grade, if not towards the uh, middle, middle to end of first grade as review, and um, second grade would be fine if you had a struggling math fact kid at second grade or even third grade. You could use this at any time with any age. Um, and I say that because it helps me in my 30s um, learn my math facts, which I had been pretty rusty on. And um, I feel a lot more confident about adding just after doing this with my kids. One question I get a lot I wanted to answer is um, if you are already using the first grade Math with Confidence curriculum by Kate Snow, same author as this, do you need to buy Addition Facts that Stick? And um, the quick answer is no, and that's because all of the games that are in Addition Facts that Stick are also in the first grade Math with Confidence book. And so um, you are going to pretty much get this entire program just like built into the first grade curriculum. And um, same with the Subtraction Facts that Stick. But um, the long answer is that I like having this booklet separately because I know um, I can use it with my older kiddo who is um, not in Math with Confidence and he's not getting all these fun games and um, he's using Singapore in third grade. And so I feel like we could take a break at any point if we needed to and we could review math, um, math facts by just doing um, this. 
let's go ahead and flip the camera around and I will show you inside of Edition Facts That Stick. Um, you'll have six weeks to do this. Um, week one is going to be adding ones and twos, pairs that make 10 for week two, sums less than 10 for week three, adding nines on week four, um, adding eights week five, and then week six is going to be looking at the leftovers. You're going to basically need some little counters, and I like to use these um, two different colored math cubes. I can link in the description, but we use these all the time for kindergarten, first grade math. And um, just like a couple of game tokens, you'll need a coin for one of the games, and almost every week you're going to need some playing cards. That's it. And um, if you didn't have something like this, you could you know, use beans, white and black beans, or you could use, you know, whatever you have around them. For every single week, there's going to be new teaching on the first day. Now she shows you exactly how to set everything up. So here you would put the 10 frame that is included in the back. She's got everything you need in the back from the answers to all of the worksheet pages. Okay, here's all of the games that you will probably wanna print out and play. Um, the visual 10 frames all the way up to 20. And then um, this is something that you'll want to print out and um, you'll use pretty much every week. She's got um, this 10 frame that you're supposed to put this down. Then you're supposed to say how many boxes are to the left of the dark line. And they would say five. And then you say how many boxes are to the right of the dark line, five. How many boxes are in the entire frame? And they would say 10. Um, and then it says place six counters on the 10 frame. And so um, you would place six on there just like that. There's a nice picture for everything she asks you to do. To do. Um, how many counters are there? Six. Um, then it says if your child counts each individually, say there's a shortcut for finding the number of counters without counting each one. How many are to the left of the dark line? They'd say five. Then how many are to the right? And they'd say one. So um, what's one more than five? And they would say six. Um, for this, how many counters are there? There's five plus four. So um, so she tells you, as you can see, in all of the lessons, there'll be one lesson each week um, for six weeks, she tells you exactly what to say and exactly how to um, put your 10 frame. And it's just so, so, so easy for somebody who doesn't know how to teach math. I, I am forever grateful I found this. Um, then what you have on days two through five, so like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you're going to play the game and then you're going to do the worksheet. So um, she showed you how to do the game that first day along with the lesson. So you, your kids have already played that game once. Then they'll play the game every single day that week and do the worksheet. So for week one, it is so, so easy. Um, you basically flip a coin. I love this little game. It just gave my kids so much confidence. They're like, this is so easy. Okay, so it's really fun and simple game. They have a coin and they have this 10 frame on the first week. And if they flip a heads, then it's plus one um, to whatever's already on the 10 frame. And if they flip a tails, it's plus two. So, um, you know, say that you flipped heads this first time, then this player would put their um, color on here plus one. Say now, that player two flips the tails, then you would have zero plus two equals two. And then you would put these on here like that. Now this player here would flip again, say if they got tails, they would have to say one plus two equals three. And they'd put their little pieces on there. Um, then this player would say, say they flipped a heads, it's plus one. So they'd have to say two plus one equals three and so on and so forth until the entire you know, somebody reaches 10. Next week, it gets a little bit harder. So don't feel like you need to rush ahead or, oh, skip this, it's too easy. Do the first week, it's fun. Even kids who are like smart and know what plus one and plus two facts are will benefit from it, I think. And then their worksheet, I printed off two of these because I did them with um, my first grader who was like at the end of first grade and my kindergartner, Ben, who was at the end of kindergarten. And she was able to do I would say probably three quarters of this program and then the bigger numbers at the end were just too hard. So I just kind of left her out of those, like basically the sevens, eights, nines, she was like getting lost with. So we just said, you know what? You're in kindergarten, we'll do this later. Um, which was a good decision for us. 
but she really wanted to do it with her brother and she could figure out plus ones and plus twos. So week one, you have these practice pages. So um, for week one, you're gonna do a worksheet for day two, three, four, and five. So those last four days of the week. And it tells you right here, it says, you know, practice page one of week one, practice page two of week one, practice page three of week one, practice page four of week one, and so forth. By the end, they're doing some, you know, pretty, pretty hard for, um, hard for them problems. It just continues on like that each week. And there's a new game each week. So they'll get six different really fun games. So here we have week two, pairs that make 10. And um, there'll be the new lesson for day one. It'll be a fun game that they'll learn that first day. And then um, two through five, you're going to play that same game again. And you'll go do one work page each day. All right, so I just real quick wanna show you an example of how Kate uses the 10 frame and teaches you to visually use the 10 frame to help them get the answer um, by making groups of 10. And she does this with groups of five um, when the sum is less than 10, but when the sum is going to be more than 10, she's having them visualize making groups of 10. And so um, week four, here's a good example um, of adding nines. Getting to here, she says, write nine plus four equals on a piece of paper. Have your child help you model the problem with counters. So I've done that in the back just to save time so you can see nine and four there. Place nine counters of one color on the top and four counters of another color on the bottom, um, which we've done right here. Now, to make it easier to figure out the answer, let's move a counter from the bottom row to the top row. So you would do this and they'd physically move a counter every time until it just, they can see it in their head and no longer need to do that to get the right answer. Um, how many counters are on the top row? 10. How many counters are on the bottom row? Three. So to solve nine plus four, you can add 10 plus three instead. So what's nine plus four? And they would say 13. So then you're gonna repeat that over and over with all of these other numbers, and then you get to play your game. And as we played the game, um, we would also do this um, visual until it wasn't needed anymore and they could get the answer without moving it until it was just like, oh, I got this, I got this. And she's got similar tricks for plus eights, plus sevens, and um, it's just really, really neat. So I won't show you all of the pages in here. I don't wanna bore you. And I think, um, you know, I would just say, <laughs> go buy this right now. It's worth its weight in gold. If you are interested in that, you are probably also gonna be interested in subtraction facts at stick. I will probably do a video on this one separately. Um, it is thicker. It's actually eight weeks, not six weeks. And so um, subtraction is just a little bit trickier for some kids. So there's a lot of really neat um, tricks that she teaches in here on memorizing the subtraction facts and learning how to figure out the answer if they don't have them memorized. I will go ahead and link addition facts that stick below, as well as these math cubes if, if you would like, and um, my other YouTube math videos. We have some um, just on like how we've used Singapore math and how we've used math with confidence.